It is 10 o'clock in the morning. At 11.30, I have an appointment with the dealership to check on my battery because after leaving my van here parked for a few weeks without driving, my battery died. And um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a problem with the battery. I don't know if it's a problem with the alternator not charging the battery properly or if there is something draining the battery. So we need to find out what it is. I'm not promoting anything, but I got this at Costco. I was able to jumpstart my van right here without hooking it up to any other car or anything. This is a portable jump starter and it worked immediately. It was so easy to use. I did it myself. <laughs> Anyone can do it. So I'm gonna keep this in my van all the time, just in case. I'm hoping that it's really just an old battery that needs to be replaced. This is a 2021 Ram ProMaster. It only has 37,000 miles. I don't know if the battery is the original battery that came with the van or if it is, then maybe it just needs to be replaced, which would be best case scenario. Worst case scenario, I guess, would be having an issue with the alternator. So I will be installing my electrical system pretty soon and I will be connecting my EcoFlow power kit to my battery and I wanna make sure that that battery works. Anyway, what have I been doing? Let me show you what I've been doing here. I'm gonna take you inside just for a moment and show you that we have made some progress. This is the first piece of my framing right here. I mean, okay, it's taking a while. So in order to avoid creating more holes in this van, since it already has a bunch of holes in here that we can use, I'm using this pneumatic Astro tool with uh, rib nuts and plus nuts. I'll show you how that works really quick. These rib nuts come in different sizes. This is a 1032 and these fit in the smallest holes here in the van. I'll show you in just a moment. But the way this works is you just insert it here. This pneumatic tool comes with different sizes for different rib nuts or plus nuts. With some strength, you have to have some strength for this. You insert this in the hole, in the hole in the van, and then you just use your muscles and you squeeze and that's what you get. So now this is attached to the metal of the van and after you remove, you have to remove the tool, you get yourself some machine screws that are made to fit the rib nut. So this is a 1032 machine screw, stainless steel, uh, 1032 rib nut, and you just screw it in. Now, no need to create more holes in your van. It's a little bit more work. It, it's time consuming. Actually, let's do one of these. These are the M8s. These go, these are hexagon. These go in these bigger holes. So let's just, let's just do one for fun. So this is the M8 rib nut and they fit very nicely in these little holes, the hexagon holes. So here, I'm gonna put it in. I may not be strong enough for this. <laughs> we have to be able to do it, guys. Struggling here, but I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm just, I'm gonna see what it takes, you know? <sighs> really hard. <laughs> It really does require some strength, but we got it in. I'm gonna have to start working out a little more for this. Now you can remove this. And to remove it faster, you can attach the drill and do it that way. Otherwise you have to manually unscrew it and it takes forever. So This is definitely time consuming and it's a little hard to do but I think it's gonna be worth it in the end. Now let's test it, make sure it works. These are a little bit too short. These are M8 machine screws. It's just not enough to hold this. So I ordered machine screws that are just a little bit longer than these so that they can hold the, the wood. Simple, 
We don't have to create new holes. We have all of these holes here. One of the reasons why I don't want to drill more holes is because from what I understand, anytime you drill a hole, you're creating metal shavings that you may not be able to clean up and over time they're gonna rust. A lot of people frame these vans with self-tapping screws and I don't know if they have any problems. I don't think they have any problems. So it's just your preference, whatever you wanna do. There are different options, different ways um, of doing things. Everything I'm learning is from watching videos on YouTube, other people doing the same things and just copying what I see. So let's go back to what we were doing earlier. All right, okay, let's go. Last week I went to a van life event hosted by van life outfitters in Dade City, Florida. It was so nice meeting some of the people doing van life. You could see that they were all very passionate and proud of their work. It was actually my first time seeing a converted van in person, which is a lot different from just watching videos or seeing pictures of them. I was a little bit afraid that walking into a converted van would feel small and uncomfortable, but it felt completely the opposite. It felt like I was inside a tiny little house with everything you could ever possibly need. It really just validated my, my whole desire to do this, to build my van and travel in my van. I just got this little magnet here for my vent that attaches to my phone really easily. I really like this, very convenient. So if I need GPS, I can just And then here is my, it's kind of hard to see, but my rear view camera, my dash cam, I'm recording right now. Yeah, but I'm not really having any major issue with my van. I just want to make sure that the battery is... You can go give it a battery test if you want me to. I yeah. Can, I can test the battery to make sure If that it's works. just that it needs a new battery, I don't think that... When was the last time you changed the battery? I have never changed oh, the battery. Oh, so yeah. Okay. I, can yeah. get, I can bring it back here real quick to okay. see if we can get the battery tested. Yes, um, that would be ideal. Yeah. Do you have the keys with you? Or uh, they're inside? in the inside oh, of it. Let me get your phone. I'll be right back. Okay. so it's recommended to be replaced okay so I'm done with the dealership they changed my battery I needed a new battery hopefully that is all um, that is the reason why my battery died they said that if I wanted them to look at the engine and the alternator that I would have to leave my van with them for a few days and I just can't do that right now I don't think anything else is wrong with it I think it was just a battery. It needed to be replaced. And now um, I don't expect to be having any problems, but we will see. I don't want to become one of those people who hate Ram Pro Masters. I really want to have a good experience. I want to be able to say that I made the right choice buying this van. And uh, so far, I love it. So far, I can't really complain. Batteries get old, they need to be replaced every few years. If the battery that was in here was the original battery, which I think it was, then that means that battery lasted three years. And I know this van, before coming to Florida, it was in Seattle, so I don't know. This was a work van, so I know that they were making very frequent stops and those things can affect your battery life. I don't know much about all of that, so I can't really say, but I think that if I have to change the battery every three years, then that should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna stay positive when it comes to this van. I'm not gonna start thinking that because it's a Ram Pro Master, it's doomed because I don't think that's the case. Um, I love it. I love my van and I'm gonna be supportive of my van. Anyway, now I'm at Home Depot. I'm gonna go in there and get some two by fours to build my bed frame and uh, I need some more uh, one by threes and um, that's it. Look how beautiful my van is. Every time I look at my van, I'm like, oh my gosh, 
That's a pretty van. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can't get to it now. Okay. But if you never want to take none of these off. No, it's then fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks perfect. Now, I love it. What about the painting of it? We could cover this and just paint really carefully. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to take it out. I ain't that careful, though. No. You are. You no, are. I, I'll paint it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. Now, you'll have to figure out what you want to cover here. Because yeah, yeah. it's got to come down to here. Oh, wow, this is so nice. Now, I love it. I got a file right here. All right, I'm going to show you what happens. All right, you see it's hanging yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you look, it yeah, ain't, it's little, got that little edge sticking. Yeah. So I got to take it. I'm going to yeah. take a file and file that. Other look, than that. This looks so good. You're such well, a pro. It's a little rough, but I don't have the tools no. to make it, you know. Oh, man. I think you should just convert my whole van. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Well, I'm glad you're happy with that. I love it. What to do next? What to do next? So far, I'm using one by threes to do the horizontal framing on these here. This one was kind of hard to do, but oh my gosh, it's so tight. It will never, never go anywhere. Now this here, is something I'm not gonna take credit for. This is something my stepdad uh, built and it's where the curtain is going to hang uh, to separate the cab from the back of the van. We're gonna put a board here on top to hide the, the curtain rail. Maybe this will help, I don't know. It requires a lot of strength from different angles. You wanna do things yourself, you know, but sometimes you just physically don't have what it takes. Let's see if this one is long enough. I need 73 inches. What I need to do now is kind of estimate where these rib nuts are gonna hit the, uh, the wood. So I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna just mark where I see them. There, here, somewhere. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. Here, here. Here, okay, so now let me show you a trick that I learned by watching other YouTubers. We're gonna use some Play-Doh. This is not even Play-Doh, but Play-Doh would be better. This will help us figure out exactly where we need to drill holes on this furring strip. Trying to make sure that this is as straight as it can be. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna push in and try to get some markings. The secret here is not moving the furring strip up and down. Just making sure that it's where it needs to be. I got some markings. So now I know that I'm gonna drill a hole here here. So now let me take you back to the garage. Let's just mark the center of the hole. It's 
since I know where the holes will go, I can remove the plato. And the next thing we'll do is just drill holes that are gonna be big enough for the M8 machine screws to go in. Now this is where we come next. All right, we're gonna use this. This is nice because it keeps your hole very straight. Now we want to countersink this a little bit. Wow, that's terrible. There must be a better way. It's not going to look good. This wood is not very good. It's pine wood, but it chips everywhere. Oh well. As long as the holes are not too big, it should work. So let's go try it and see. I'm going to put my machine screws in. They're fine. They, um, sometimes uh, people will use a washer, a flat washer, um, but I don't think these screws are made to be used with washers, so it's not perfect, but I think, I think it's gonna be good enough. Let's just loosely uh, put these in. All right, this is not going anywhere. Nice. This is good. I wasn't looking forward to the framing of the van because it really, you could do it in so many different ways. There isn't really a anywhere where you can find the perfect instructions on how to frame your van. Everybody does it a little bit differently. So um, you have to be a little bit more creative, I guess, when you're framing your van. And for most of the work that I've done so far in the van, I, um, I found the information somewhere. I copied someone. When you don't know much about building or construction, it's hard to know how to do things unless you have someone else to copy from. I don't know. I'm going to say that this doesn't look perfect but it is holding really well and i don't think this like the whole van is shaking right now this is not going anywhere so obviously i have a lot left to do but eventually i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do this this is how lauren lawless um, i follow her video she is building her van this is how she did hers and i think it was a great idea she just used pocket screws here to attach these at multiple points and then your cabinets will hang up here. I'm not sure I like this angle. Some people will attach these here instead. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do these. I don't know yet, we'll see. But thank you for watching, thank you for joining. I will finish this now.